What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Shea Patterson, um, quarterback out of uh, Michigan. I almost said Ole Miss, but to be fair, he did go to Ole Miss, too. But, uh, yeah, before we get into the film, we'll be watching his game against Iowa today. Uh, the original video is by Hash. I've used him quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, going into his stats before we get into the film, um, this season he had 3,000. And uh, 61 yards passing, uh, 23 passing touchdowns and 8 picks. Um, almost 400 passes, so that, that's not too bad. Um, and th despite his numbers in the running game, look at 2018 more his, as far as yards go because he actually is kind of athletic. Um, as far as what I can see on this screen before we get into the film, one thing I would like to to change is that weight. I'd like to see him gain a little bit of weight, not too much where he loses that athleticism, but I'm just worried at 202 pounds, the hits he's going to take in the, in the league. So, um, yeah, let's just get, go ahead and get right into the film. Um, yeah. So right, right off the bat, you see a little bit of his athleticism and ability to throw on the move. But this was a bad decision, and he ends up getting his receiver nailed. Uh, let me actually slow it down here so you can see a little bit better. He decides to throw this across, like, in a really bad angle. Like. And he throws it in very tight coverage and ends up getting his receiver nailed. This also could have been picked. Just, that, that's that's not what you want. Just no. That's something that really needs to improve with him. Um, his decision making. Oof. Okay. Bad miss there. And that's something that really happens with him a lot too. His accuracy is really inconsistent. Um, let me see what may have thrown him off. Yeah, his waist, his weight, his uh, base isn't very wide there. Um, I feel like if he would have like really stepped into that throw a little bit better, he could have been a little bit more accurate. Uh, his mechanics are pretty inconsistent too. Um, so that that's something to consider as well. But yeah, moving on to the next. I I do have timestamps next to me too, so we won't have to watch this whole game. If you want to watch the whole video, uh, go to Hash's video. It, it, it'll be in the um, description to this one. Um, yeah. This shows a little bit of his arm strength right there. His arm strength is cool. It's not fantastic, but it's cool. Um, and if you notice there, he did have a nice wide base when he threw that ball. And what do you know? It was more accurate. See that? That's what you want. You want a nice wide base. That allows you to throw with power and accuracy. It's also a perfect spiral. That's what you want. He just needs to get more consistent with that. Next, the next play is this one. So, right there, that is very tight coverage, for one. Probably shouldn't have made that decision. Let me actually see. Was there anyone else open? Not really. Uh, not a big fan of that play call, actually. But um, the, the, the big thing here is that he doesn't really throw a touch at all. His only tool is really throwing a bullet. And sometimes that's not the answer. If he would have like arc this ball a little bit and kind of threw it over the receiver. This could have been a touchdown, but that's something that I definitely want to see him work in a little bit. And I, I think I mentioned that as well in my video before the 2019 season, cause I did make one. Um, so I'll try to put that in the description too. Um,
Yeah. That, that right there is just a bad decision. I think it shows it from another angle here. Yeah. I don't know if he just didn't see him, but uh, that that's that's a that's a that's a really bad decision, and that's the type of things that really really hurt Shea Patterson is his decision making. It really needs a lot of work. Um, right there, it's just showing he can throw a little bit of velocity. I showed the long ball. But this is his ability to really uncork it and really throw a line drive bullet. Because like I said, his arm strength is actually pretty good. But, um, yeah. Getting into the next one. Holds the ball too long right there. He's just sitting there in the pocket. He needs to roll out. He needs to get rid of the ball, something. Because if you look at the down and distance there, it was first and 10. They're up by a touchdown in the second quarter. You don't need to be taking unnecessary sacks there. And he's athletic. Move. Move. Or throw the ball. Get rid of it. Do something. Don't just stand there and get hit. Okay, here we go. This shows off a little bit of that athleticism. Um, like I said, he's not like super athletic. He's not like a Lamar Jackson type guy. But if you want to run some read options with him and have him scramble out a little bit, he does have some legitimate athleticism. Um, that is an absolute tool that you should use. But... uh I've got one more play I want to show you guys. It kind of goes along with the uh, mobility. Again, just shows that athleticism. He gets to the sideline. Actually gave a little bit of a stiff arm at the end of that. Like I said, he is pretty athletic. Um, he's a pretty decent runner. But just to give my overall thoughts on the guy... Uh, his arm strength is solid enough. It's not, it's not like elite, but it, it's, it's good. It's pretty good. Um, I mentioned when I was looking at his stats that I would like him to gain a little bit of weight. Uh, and keep in mind, I'm only going off of what's on ESPN as far as his weight goes, but hopefully before the combine, uh, his weight doesn't, does get up a little bit cause that's pretty bad. Um, it's not quite like Kyler Murray or anything like that, but I'm just scared of him taking hits right now. Um, his athleticism is cool. It's not fantastic, but he can make some people miss. He can scramble for some first downs, stuff like that. Um, accuracy is inconsistent, but it shows flashes of being pretty inconsistent. Um Footwork and mechanics are also inconsistent, which really throws off that accuracy. Um, when he does set his feet and gets a nice wide base, he is decently accurate. But when he doesn't, it really throws him off. Hopefully a quarterback coach can kind of improve on that. Um, Decision-making, though. That's, that's, the, that's the really big thing for me. Um, that's something that absolutely has to improve with him and he needs to see the field better, all of it, pocket presence, everything as far as awareness and um, making better decisions. That all needs to improve. And he also has a habit of playing hero ball. And what I mean by that is like when he almost feels like he has to be Superman, kind of like Jameis Winston a little bit. Uh, he gets into that mentality that he just has to make the play every time. And that really hurts your team because it ends up getting turnovers and ends up leading to even more bad decisions. So that's something I'd like to see him stop doing. Um, in like fourth quarter situations, if you want to make those type of plays, you know, whatever, because sometimes it's going to work. But 
you don't need to be putting your team in a hole by making really stupid decisions. Um, there is a chance that he could be asked to change positions. Uh, I don't know if he should. He's got some athleticism. Uh, I don't know if he can catch or anything like that. So um, he might be able to be a slot receiver or something like that. But honestly, I'd probably stick at quarterback. I don't think he's quite athletic enough for that. But um, there probably is going to be some scouts that are going to ask him to change positions. Um, So we'll just have to follow that. But maybe in like the later rounds, I'd say probably like day three, uh, if you get him in like maybe the fifth round, something like that, you you might be able to coach him up, put him put him on like your third string or something like that. I wouldn't even have him actually be your actual backup right now, and uh, try to really improve on that um, decision making because right now that's going to be a detriment in the NFL. So yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.